Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. Welcome back. Today, I'm going to be tasting Mopane worms. Now, these were very graciously sent to me by Sean and Johanna. Thank you guys so much for sending these to me from Virginia. But these Mopane worms actually originated from Zimbabwe. Mopane worms are also called Madora and they go by many other names. They are eaten in the southern portion of Africa and they're actually the caterpillar of the emperor moth. A beautiful, very large caterpillar that eats mopane leaves. That's why they call them mopane worms. So if you've been with me for a little while, you know the last few years I've done something called bugmas, which is an insect bug eating countdown to Christmas. If you've missed those episodes, I will put the links above and down below. And in those videos, I mentioned something called entomophagy, which is the practice and tradition of eating insects. So insects are a very concentrated source of protein. They are sustainable and their life cycles are relatively short, so you can produce a lot of them. So Mopane worms make a lot of sense. So as I mentioned, Mopane worms are eaten in Southern Africa, in countries like South Africa, Zimbabwe, Zambia, Botswana, Namibia. So Mopane worms are harvested by hand off the trees. They are degutted and often dried. That's the way to preserve them. And they're eaten as a dried snack or they can be rehydrated and cooked in stews. So I'm going to be doing both versions. I'm going to taste them dry and then I'm going to cook a little stew with them as well. So big thanks to Johanna and Sean for sending these to me. I can't wait to taste these. Now let me show you what they look like. So here is my bag of worms. I opened them so I could take some pictures of them. And there they are. Here are the Mopane caterpillars. So their scientific name is Gonabrasia bellina. Aren't they amazing? They're huge. These are dehydrated, so imagine how big they are when they are fresh. These are definitely the largest caterpillars or worms that I've eaten. Oh no, I take that back. I have eaten earthworm jerky before and those were quite large, but they were not caterpillars. So these are definitely the biggest caterpillars I will have ever eaten. And they have a very strong musky smell to them. Kind of mushroomy, earthy, a little bit funky, but yeah, strong. Sean tells me that these are ready to be eaten just as they are. These have been dried and you can just have them as a snack. So today I'm going to be doing two preparations. I'm going to taste them as a dried snack, but I'm also going to make a stew. To prepare the stew version, I need to rehydrate the mopane worms. So in a saucepan, I'm going to put in this entire bag or 200 grams of mopane worms. I'm just push those down. It actually smells a lot like puarcha. A little bit smoky. Toasted, kind of vegetal, amazing. Okay, so there are the worms, and now I'm going to boil these for about 10 minutes. So while I do the crispy tasting, I'm just gonna let these go on the stove top. Here's the head, the body, and this is the back end. These are hand harvested, and then the way they're processed is they're squeezed, so the guts come out the bottom, and then they are dried in the sun or sometimes dried over smoke. In Botswana, they actually take off the head so I'm gonna do that. I'll try another one with the head. Alrighty, here we go. Eat the lucky moth. Mm. Not too bad. Crispy, crunchy, very, very dry. Very dry and kind of dusty slightly gritty. I feel like there's a little bit of sand in there, but the flavor is quite savory. It tastes quite meaty, surprisingly. Mm -hmm. It tastes a lot like a jerky. It has that kind of meaty, dried, proteiny, umami flavor to it. It's pretty good. It is quite dry though. All right, let's eat one with the head on. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. taste a little bit different and maybe it's because of the head I don't know I had a little bit more crunch to it this one tastes a little bit more smoky a little less meaty but still pretty good mm-hmm that part tasted a little bit different as well that tasted a little bit more like dried tea I'm gonna bring their worms over
Alrighty, so the caterpillars have been boiling for about 10 or 15 minutes, and now we're ready to drain them. I'm gonna pour this here. That water was very dark and there was lots of sediment in there. So part of the boiling process is not only to soften them, but also to kind of clean them up a bit. Once the mopane worms have rehydrated, they puff up a lot. Look at that. By the way, what do you think of my new shirt, Eat the Ducky Moss? Of course, that is the auto-translating of the phrase Eat the Ducky Moss, which in Japanese means give thanks, let's eat. And yeah, I thought it would make a fun shirt. If you want to get one, I'll put the link down below and you can get one. They're only running for a limited time only for the next two weeks, so get them while you can and look stylish in summer. Alrighty, let's make our stew. First thing we're going to do is fry up the worms a bit. I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of oil. Great sizzle. And we're gonna fry those up for a few minutes so they get a little bit crispy. Alrighty, so the mopane worms have been sauteing here for about five minutes. And now I'm going to add half of a small onion. It's a little dry, I'm gonna add a little bit more oil. Now we're gonna season it with some salt. Lots of black pepper. Adding some dried chili in there. And a little bit of curry powder. Add some curry powder to that. Ah, oh, smelling great. Next, I'm gonna add some tomato. Now we're gonna use some water and deglaze the pan a bit. And that's gonna help us form our sauce. And then we're just gonna simmer this until the vegetables cook down a bit, and then we'll be ready to serve. bowl of cooked mupane worms. Let's give this a taste. Now this would be traditionally served with something called pap, which is made of millet flour that's been reconstituted in water and formed into a very stiff kind of porridge. And it would be eaten together with this. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any millet, so I'm going to be eating my mupane worms just as they are. So I'm gonna take this one right here. Nice fat one. Look how much they have rehydrated. Eat the dakimas or eat the dakimas. <laughs> Mmm. The texture really changes a lot. It still has a crunch, but it's definitely more succulent <laughs> because we've rehydrated them in water. And as you bite them, there's a bit of an exoskeleton kind of crunch, but it's still a little bit soft as well. And it's much juicier, of course, than the dried version. The flavor is less intense in terms of a kind of a musky, mushroomy flavor. It's still there, but now we've added all these other flavors to it as well. It's actually quite nice. I like the curry, a little bit of heat in there as well. Nice compliment. This actually reminds me a lot of dried mushrooms. If you've ever reconstituted mushrooms before or smell dried mushrooms, you know, it has that really strong kind of musky, earthy smell to it. That's what these smell like. And the drying process does a similar thing too. It concentrates the flavors and then as you add water, kind of releases it a bit, but still remains very kind of intense. But cooked like this, it's delicious. Okay, let's have one with onion on it. Mmm, mm-hmm. That's really nice. The onion adds some sweetness and the curry powder in there is excellent. It gives you this perfume of curry that's really assertive and strong, but goes really well with the mopane worm. So there you have it, mopane worms two ways. One as a delicious little dried snack and second as a stewed dish. Both are quite 
delicious. Big thanks again to Johanna and Sean for sending me the Mopane worms and making this episode possible. Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, be sure to go grab yourself one of these shirts because you only got two weeks to do it. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Check out Bugmas. And yeah, like, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. <laughs>